Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at another top of the line Gretsch RV. This one being their smallest version with 4x4 and this beautiful exterior color. This is the 2023 Gretsch RV Turismo and Turismo Ion. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Turismo and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. We're in beautiful California, taking a look at another top of the line B-Van, the Gretsch Turismo. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Becky. Becky! Hey! I loved our last Gretsch video. What the heck, did we find a better view or what? I mean, look at the view behind us, Matt. Come on. This is absolutely amazing. Why are we here? Well, number one, we're here because this is four by four. Yes. And we were hoping that we were gonna find a trail. Yes, and let me tell you something, <laughs> Becky. When it comes to Gretsch RVs being made in California, we didn't want to film in a factory. We wanted to come out and really demonstrate what van life is all about. And that's coming to these beautiful places. Doesn't matter if you're in California or Florida or anywhere in the world, every state has its own beautiful place. Absolutely. Becky, I'm super excited to be taking a look at Gretsch Gretsch's smallest version. You ready? I'm ready. Let's begin. All right. Okay, so like Matt said, this is the smallest van that Gretsch built. This is on the 19-foot Mercedes diesel chassis. Yes. Right? It's single wheel in the back. You're going to fit a normal parking spot. It's easy to drive. You sit up a little bit higher. And this one is 4x4. Four four. Wow. So that is the really cool part about going in ventures places like this. Right? Yes. So, obviously this is the big, nice Mercedes emblem, which is really nice. 3.0 liter V6, 188 horsepower, 325 pound-feet of torque, and what, 19 feet tip to tip? 19 feet. There you go. A nice step right here, okay? Now, I like to point out that this, you see this extra molding? It's just, it adds that extra special. Mm. It's just something more that, that we don't ever see. Right. When do we see this? And it's painted. It matches that Mercedes paint and it's down all of the side of the van. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist. You can see the sensors. And again, Becky, just like you said, it really adds to the look of this yes. is a prestigious luxury traveler. Very much so. Okay. Now, uh, I will mention that these wipers are auto. So um, that's really nice when you're driving. Okay. And I just found out the other day while I'm driving one of these Mercedes vans that the there's you notice on the hood you always have that little oh yeah where it's a little sprayer thing oh, yeah they're built into the wipers now Matt nice all right nice big LED lights and also these lights will turn on at nighttime when you're slowing down to brighten up the spot on the side I love that okay. look at these tires Becky Woo. they're the wild peaks AT I love those those are the I don't see the size. There it is. LT 245-70 R17. And different from the other Gretches, has these black rhino hard alloy rims. Again, this is made for that off-road, really nice four by four. Um, yeah, it's it's really, really awesome. Please continue. And you see, do you see the space here? Yes. So because this is four by four, is it is a little bit lifted up high. Okay, I thought it was, I, yeah. I wasn't sure. You can do this in four by two as well. Okay. This one's four by four, so it's gonna get you in more all-terrain yes. you know, areas. Okay, in this, it does have the blind spot monitoring built into the mirrors. Yes. Okay, now I do wanna point out, Matt, just look at how sleek it is. Now you're, you're gonna notice this one little spot right here that says Gretsch. It doesn't have a big badging all over it. Just right. Just that more van, you know. Car. It's a car. Yes. It is. You just, you said it, man. Exactly. You right here, it. there is the camera for the 360 camera, but no side cameras on this Gretsch RV. Okay, so in here you'll see that they do have a nice step. Automotive, nice, like, I can get right in. You have a nice grab handle here. Now, the first thing that I really, truly notice when I come in here is the seats. Talk I to mean, me. 
they use an ultra leather this is really soft guys i love that they have the badging right into the headrest mm. it's just really luxury this is high end this is Gretsch. just it's comfortable yes oh it's you know it just feels Gretsch. It feels Gretsch. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Van Not Life. Van Life has now come to a whole new level. It really does elevate it to a new it level. Steps it up, guys. You know, and if you guys didn't see the first Gretsch video that we did on the Strata, at the Strata Ion, you know, so many times customers, when we talk about quality, they're like, why don't manufacturers make it this way? Well, Gretsch does make it that way. You are paying that premium price tag, Absolutely. but you are getting what you pay for. Speaking of right here, we do have the memory seats, one, two, and three heated seats and everything. And then Becky, tell us a little bit about this running board here. What's a little different about it? All right, so you do see that all the way down, right? Now Gretsch adds that extra detail onto it. So that is another gonna be a molded fiberglass that they're gonna add on. Obviously, like I said earlier, it does match that Mercedes paint. But the most important thing that you can't see is, is underneath. What's that? Underneath, they have these stainless steel straps that will that are attached. And I'm telling you guys, this is sturdy. At their shop, I mean, look, I'm pulling on it right now. Yes, ma'am. It's not even barely wiggling. At their shop, they had it on, on a hoist, and you can see literally underneath. Stand on that, Now, please. you see, oh yeah, and the step, did you see guys how it was automatic and came out? Yes. But if you notice, I mean, it's not it's not moving it's bracketed down okay. something else i want to mention if you guys saw i did open this it was not um it wasn't push button so on all of these gray blue ones they are the manual doors on the other ones you do have on the other colors they are the electric doors and becky i didn't even know there was an awning on this magic happens right man again same with their awning keeping it a streamlined look now this is an armless awning with wind sensor and LED lights. And just see how it's, you know, painted it. It just really blends in. You didn't even notice it. Yes. Oh, a nice screen here, guys. So while that's going out, it does go all the way over, but obviously with one hand, it's a little difficult. Now, while I'm also standing here, I just noticed you have a lagoon table mount right here. What would that do for there? So I have a lagoon table set up in the back. So when we go inside, we'll show we'll show that. But you can move it to right here. So if you're entertaining outside, oh. now you could have access and have a little table swung out here for your cheeses and you know soda pops and charcuterie boards. Oh, charcuterie boards. And Becky, yes. I just noticed that we forgot to mention that screen on the Strata. No, we did. We got it. We we got that screen? Yes, we did. Well, there you go. Becky, I'm glad you're here to keep me in line. Sometimes, you know. Perfect. Assistant. Um, again, very streamlined. I will also mention that Gretsch did move the exhaust over okay. here. Now, I did bring my key because, look, you can barely even see it. Right. Right? It's built right in. Now, this is your... Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. And a nice little clip. Yes. And I love how it's so discreet and streamlined and beautiful and awesome. Right? Like that. Oh, another one we have to unlock here. Okay, one more on this side. Now, something I want to mention, this smaller one, it does not have the air ride suspension, but it is leaf spring. And look how easy. Right? Just like that. Okay, you've got two power receptacles down here, guys, and then you're going to be your cable uh, hookup as well. Right? Perfect. Now, on the back, also look. Wow. Just We never see another bumper. That's And you do have a tow receiver hitch, but you don't even see it. Not only that, for people that are going to HOAs, a lot of B-Vans, they do look like RVs, but this says if you scoot over, Gretsch Motors, you know what I'm saying? HOAs don't know it's an RV. The receiver hitch is behind there, um, but it's covered up. It's so streamlined. This is just a normal 2500 4x4 Sprinter van right. with a backup camera right there. Okay. So inside here, guys, you will see, you do have a drop-down screen. Okay. It's um, electric. It is, so we're not gonna pull on it. We'll show you that later. Now back here, you have one little compartment. Now okay. it's not for storage. This is where your lithium batteries are. This is where your inverter is. But I want you to go back in here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's okay. Now look at look at how everything is so neat and oh, organized yes. in there. 
Perfect. I will also mention, look here. They wow. have the diagrams for you right here. Not for you, for your dealer to save money. Well, that too. Yeah. But, I mean, for you to maybe, you know, hopefully diagnose some things. Yes. So. Okay. And then there is a few differences between the Turismo and Turismo Ion. I'm actually gonna kick mm -hmm. it over to AJ for him to tell you the difference of an Ion package. So when you go with the lithium ion battery package, you are getting the 280 amp auxiliary alternator with the wake speed regulator that is recharging these house batteries from idle with our 3000 watt inverter and the 1260 amp hours of batteries. Our Lithionics battery package here, these are the only Underwriters Laboratory UL listed, UL tested batteries available to the market. These each have built-in battery management systems that work together with our power management system for proper shedding. And these batteries here, you can see, are securely fastened to the floor. This is a stainless steel battery tray bolted through the chassis floor, being held on the top as well. And you'll see the clean installation of our wiring and presentation here. So this is 1260 amp hours. We are 35% higher battery capacity than our nearest competitor. This will operate the entire house for up to 12 hours. Thanks, AJ. Perfect. All right, now let's go down the side over here. Okay. Again, I'm gonna shut this door because I want you to get a side, like look all the way down here. Matt, normally when we're doing a B-Van review, how many things are we talking about down the side of this van? Yes, so yes. A thing here and a thing here and a thing here, right? Where are all of those things? Oh, I need my keys. <laughs> I love that here. Okay, keys. So, right in this compartment. Now, they do have a pad on this as well, which we just learned about today. All right, in here, look, we'll clip it up. Yeah. Really nice. I will point out there is a light under here. Okay. Okay, there's a Firefly system inside. We'll talk about that later. But you can download an app on your phone. So if you're out here at nighttime and there is... Um, a big old bug. Yep, sorry. I'm not into bugs. Um, yikes. Okay. Uh, here is your city water connection. Yes. Hot and cold exterior water. Yep. You've got another cable hook up here and then your 30 amp service. I love okay? it. Now down here, another, I just like how sleek it is. Now. Right. I like how everything's not exposed. Lockable compartment. Especially on this one. It actually has a gravity fill black tank. It's not a macerator. And again, keeping it enclosed, keeping it not looking like an RV. Right. You got your gray tank dump and your black tank dump. I absolutely love that feature. It's not bad at all. Yes, right? ma'am. All right. Again, down here, nice big step to enter in. Um, this is also where you fill your fuel. Yes. And I do like this because when this door is closed, it's locked. Yes. Yeah, All especially right. this day and age, nobody's gonna steal your fuel. Becky, I'm super excited to go on the inside and talk with you about the chassis. But first, we gotta give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life. Tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Hey Matt. What? What you to do? I know, it's just such a beautiful, you know, this is what van life, uh, Becky, I'm trying to embrace van life. I'm like, hi. Hey. Right, I mean. Like, here's what I will say. You can't bring a class A motorhome to a place like this. So it is awfully nice 
Becky, what do we got going on in this cockpit here? Oh, well, first, let me show everybody the inside. So different from the uh, other Gretsch RVs, this is only one floor plan on this small footprint, okay? So it is what it is. That's what it is. Becky, tell us about what we got going on up here. All right, well, let's start with number one. Here, look, I have a nice little sunglass holder. Yes, very nice. Uh, here's a Mercedes SOS button. Don't hit that. I did that once. They do call you, which oh. is really nice and convenient. Yes, ma'am. So another safety feature built in for Mercedes. You have your light buttons up in this side too. Okay, so let's start it up. Push button start. This is going to have, like we mentioned earlier, adaptive cruise control set from right here. Lane assist, blind spot monitoring. It has crosswind assist built in. Oh. Driving this on the highway in a big breeze it's crazy how easy it is it pulls you back over takes a little adjustment but the nice part of if you don't like it you can actually turn it off there you go so a lot of safety features back built in big huge backup camera you have the the big 10 inch screen from mercedes um you can everything in here is hands-free yes you can you can set so the dials everything on your your steering wheel I like to use this one is going to control everything on your dash. Okay. All of these buttons on this side. Everybody always wonders what this is, but I always refer to this as being like your old Blackberries, and it's kind of like a mouse. I'll go right. this one here and see if you if you watch. I just scroll over with my thumb, and that's going to take you to all the different settings that are in this, and then you can click it. You can tell it where to go. This also has Apple CarPlay, Google Android that you can hook up to. Uh, up in here. There is a wireless car charger, wow. which I just learned about. Really handy. More charging ports built in here. Yes. Guys, there is eight cup holders, by the way, wow. if anybody was wondering. Up in the cab area only. Oh, oh, eight cup holders, man. Eight. Yeah. Uh, adjustable yes. armrests. Guys, both of these seats do swivel around. Well, Becky, we'll show people that in just a second. Let okay. me sit in the passenger seat. All the cup holders here are fantastic. I have one of those things right here as well. Another cup holder. Becky, I got plenty of leg space. Memory seats, as we said, primary passenger set their seat to number one. Secondary passenger set their seat to number two. And Becky, the third setting should be in the best placement to swivel it around because it does take a little bit of maneuvering that I don't have the patience to maneuver. So Becky, please Wait. maneuver this for us. Wait, Matt, you don't have patience? Believe it or not. <laughs> All right, so we're going to swivel this seat around. Yes, ma'am. All right, now, guys, you have to pass this pillar. These seats are power, and they're you have to use the door here. That's where the adjustments are. Okay. Okay, so you're going to put both of them up, and then there is a little lever in between the front and your legs, and you're just going to literally swivel it around. Just like that. Okay, and then I like to move it back, but like okay. Matt said, if you hit button number three, it would just automatically do this for you and not have to sit here and hold button and do it. Okay? Perfect. How do you feel? I love, I, this is where I love to set. Yes. It's just, well, look, I mean, look where we're at. Number right. Because you can still look at views like this. Yes. But a lot of times it's a great place to work. Okay. And you're out of the way. Yes. Uh, so it just, it's convenient, right? Something that I'm loving about it is how there's nothing obstructing your head right here. Um, especially for this one being this a lot smaller Smart. version. Uh, that's really nice. It is. And you do have storage up here. I mean, ladies, I still throw my little purse up there. Okay. And it still fits. So that is nice. Now, right back here, I will point out that this is the storage spot for the Lagoon table, which okay. we did, I set up before we started the video. Why don't you show us that? Yep. So this Lagoon table, I really like the Lagoon table. All right. So like I said, you can, the other mount is over there, guys, yes. right? So to, the party area, we'll call that. Okay. Now back here. Or, no, no. What? You're wrong. I'm wrong. You set it up here, and now you have an office. Yes. Love that. Not it's not just for it's not just for your charcuterie boards. Wait, wait, wait. Is that where you're gonna set to work? Easy now. This would be a good size for you. It's c continue the video, Becky. <laughs> I mean, okay, so guys, this is a lagoon table where Matt would be using to work at yes. up in the front. Right? Yes. Look, Matt, laptop would fit perfect. Mm. I could get it out. It's your bags up in there. Yes, ma'am. So, but it swivels around, guys. It does does adjust up and down. Yes, ma'am. Now, I will say. Now you're these these are power, which okay. I should have already blown that, but it is. But while I'm here, I'm gonna mention this. If 
you were to try to put the ottoman down, there's a sensor built into this that's magnetic that it's not going to allow this ottoman to go down to cause damage. Wow. Which, another added bonus from Grutch, right? Wait, can we take that out? Oh yeah, we can take it out. Because I definitely want to see what this looks like when it's down. Okay. And so while she's doing that, I'm going to take a look at this storage. This is birch wood cabinetry. Look at these hinges. Right. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. She's breaking it down. You know, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt with these lagoon tables, but it's actually kind of worth it because once they're down, they're very sturdy tables. Over here, we have another huge cabinet. This is absolutely beautiful. You getting it, Becky? There you go. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, let's set, show everybody oh, where it sets up in here. Well, yeah, let me put that away, but I'm going to show you where this goes. Oh, and look at that. Because we have all our bags in there. We do. And look, Matt, there's actually a spot for it. So you're telling me when there's somebody cuts me off in Florida and I hit the brakes, that's not going to go flying to the front of the motorhome? Have you ever seen anybody put an actual, like, clip and stuff like that? No, no. But super super nice this is also huge guys by the way I wish we didn't show that but i will show you where the table is stored so you now know yes ma'am but literally slides right in this space again a perfect space fits just like a glove right. now becky before you show us what the bed looks like when it's dropped down, do you know what time it is? What time? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Jen, please show the MSRP right here so everybody can see who's watching on television. That is a very good MSRP for a Gretsch RV. You know, this is the smallest one that they offer. Um, no, we cannot tell you guys sale price on this video because it is a current model year. But here's what I do know. We are one of the premium partners with Gretsch RV and Becky is our class B specialist. So if you guys are interested in getting this Gretsch or any Gretsch or any B van, all you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Becky's cash. I have linked that form down in the YouTube description below. That is a Matt's cash form. But the difference is with Becky's cash, the lead goes directly to Becky. She will call you a little bit later after you fill out the form, maybe the next day, and she will help get you the absolute best price, but even better, the absolute best experience on buying this RV or any RV in the RV industry. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. Aww. Now show us this bed when it's all the way down. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we should actually, can I swap you? Yes. So, oh, oh. there you go. <laughs> Van life. Van Sorry, life. Matt. There you go. The reason being is I need the firefly system. Okay. All right, guys. So tell so, us about this firefly system. Right. So this is, and there's also an app that you can download from onto your phone. You can do all of the same stuff that I'm about to show you on your phone. And I'll just do you a, a quick run through. Number one, what we were about to do is, um, Put the bed down now as you'll see these are power ottomans and it's going to be a power sofa so we get that i'll put the sofa all the way down okay okay now you can control your lights the master on and off you can individually turn the lights on you can extend your awning from here you can check your fresh your gray your black tanks you can see how much power you have like I said earlier, here's all of your lights, wow. individual. Wow. But they also have the dimming capability. We're not going to be able to see that. But okay. do, I do want to point out, look at the blue lights. Heck yeah. yeah. And it's like in the, like, this is like party. Like yeah. Class. This is, you know. Okay, so. Everybody out there that has like a 16-year-old kid, get them to drive this as you start bar hopping again. Right? Oh, yeah. There, yeah. there you well. go. I mean, maybe not 16. But, no, 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 the 16, <laughs> but no, the 16 year old's not bar hopping. They're driving. Oh. And you, the adults are bar hopping. Yeah, but do you want a 16 year old driving this van? Well, hey. Okay, not mine. All right, anyways, so <laughs> yeah. here's the electrical systems, which you can check all of your power sources from here. Now, oh, we're gonna wait. That's this, that we're gonna save that one for later. Okay. Um. Now this is where you're gonna set your, check your, your um, thermostat. You can check, um, you can do cleaning mode. There's um, a video from Gretsch that David did and watch those videos. Wow. He has detailed every literally step. We don't, that's not our thing, right? Perfect. But I'll 
Obviously, we have the bed down. I I'm want not, you to lay on it. I would say I'm going to lay on the bed because I don't think I laid on the bed last time. Guys. Well, well, there was no need to last time. There was nothing obstructing you. True. This, I wanted to, you to lay down because I wanted to see what it looked like with your legs underneath there. It doesn't bother me. And I, I'm super, I'd be, I'm claustrophobic, so that would be like kind of weird. But, and this does make this whole area. Yes. We just didn't do it all the way. Yes. Uh, I would be fine here. Totally fine. Okay. Now, if you're shorter than you know i'm 510 guys for people at home what are you trying to say <laughs> so here's what my suggestion is so now your turn give you give me that and you i'm gonna have you do something i want you to lay that way because guys i have Becky, you're people, like insulting me as a as a human i'm not insulting i'm just saying i want to show because you don't have to lay north and south you look you can lay this way guys if you're Matt, oh, look at your face. <laughs> so Why do I fit in an RV sideways? <laughs> but I, I I will concur. This is very nice. But okay, so the reason being is that you don't have to make this whole thing to a bed. Yep. You can leave this area made up to a bed all the time, and you still have a, you you still have place to sit back here. You could still work on your table back here at this little jump seat. Oh. It's not huge, but. Then you have a bed back here all the time made. See what I'm saying? Yes. Here's something that I'm going to add. There's speakers underneath there. Oh, yeah. Good I don't point. know if we saw the speakers in the Strata, but this is what we talked about last time when you look at this TV right here. Push lights. Push lights. Yes. When you look at this TV right here, there's also a huge sound bar. An unnecessarily big sound bar, Becky, if you ask mm. me, for such a small RV. Ooh. Speaking of small RV, Again, your legs go there. Can, yeah, can you get this uh, yep, 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 yep. over? All right, and while you're doing that, why don't you show us this refrigerator? Whoa! What? There's a Firefly system oh, down here as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, you hit, you took my thumb. That was, that was, that was my one. I just need some privacy. <laughs> I just need some privacy. Look at this though, guys. Okay, so what he did was hit one button and, well, we have, that's our fault in the back, guys. Look at the blind, that's us. Yeah, sorry That's guys. us. Uh, however, they are power, okay? So, literally stealth mode. No, no closing anything, just hit, hit one button. I love it, Thank Becky, you. show everybody this fridge. All right, so the refrigerator, small, but guess what guys it's off the floor little tiny freezer up in there nothing huge but that's all you need you know and then one huge cabinet up here wow now there's a few things up here number one you have a lot of storage okay this whole area is storage you've got a um satellite for your king connector this is your sony bluetooth dvd player yes and then all of your your solar zamp charger uh panel as well so okay? nice all right. Also, oh, see the positive latching? Yes. Ooh. Very and nice. And your air conditioner right above your head. There. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So show us what Kitchen. else we got. Yeah, we kind of swapped around here this Well, time. I felt like uh, when in California, you got to switch it up. That's all right. Okay. Guys, look at how big this farmhouse stainless steel sink is. Wow. And a nice big cutting board. Yes. You know, dual purpose. But then you get the solid surface countertop, and now you have a lot more counter space as well. Yes. Big residential faucet. Oh yeah. Dual induction. Still on so small. Still. Wow. Now three drawers. Well, sorry. One place for your sponges. And then one drawer here. One drawer here. Okay. And then down here is one more drawer. Okay wow. guys. So and you can just tell the quality, the dovetail and everything. Right. Super duper Has nice. All of them positive latching. Microwave but it's also convection and an air fryer. Wow. Yeah, look at that. I, I do like me a nice air fryer every once in a while. Okay, so I think that's it for the kitchen. Matt, Oh, now... no, we gotta show this. Oh, we missed a cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And a fantastic fan here above. Fantastic. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Are you sure? <gasps> Is this the same size as the Strata? Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. How do you go from a 24 foot and to a 19, 19 foot and have the same size bathroom, guys? Same quality. It's porcelain. Window. No. 
Becky, this is not the same size. What? America? Hmm? This is a 19 foot motorhome. Becky, look at my feet. Look at my sides. This is a prime boom position. Bing! What? In a class B motorhome. Becky, on the strata, my foot was like, my foot was like here. This, am I sitting Why? different? How, do, is uh, the toilet swivel? Maybe they moved it. This is a brand new unit, man. Maybe they moved something. Small prime poop position. But Becky, this, no, I can't make it a prime poop position. I mean, it's a wet bath. What? Neither here nor there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You no. already said it. I'm in California. It's on California. I'm in it's... California. You guys know it's a little weird over here, okay? Like, listen, I don't know what's going on with the B-Van bathrooms. Here's what I do know. And I've said this last time, and I'll say this this time. This is a phenomenal bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Nice big wet bath. You got a sink right here. You got your uh, spigot right here that also doubles as your shower. And sitting on the shelf in California, yes, we got liquefied. This is our brand of black tank treatment. Guys, just go to primepoopmusician.com, created by the Matt Servierius team. It's the best black tank treatment in it's the industry. Amazing. And all of these Gretsch RVs have windows in the bathroom that no other RV has, which is amazing. With a shade, Matt. Yes, there's a nice window right there or a mirror. I like how this is covering up your toilet paper holder. Ooh. And Becky, yeah, I think I just sat on it wrong. There is no take backs, but again, you know what it is almost as well? You know what? I am going to stick with the pride poop position. You know why? It's my show and I can do that. One. <laughs> but two, this one can get it and the other one doesn't get it. You know why? Because that other one was 24 and this one was 19. That's my justification. Not Matt. only that, Becky, we have a shower right here. And again, I got plenty of head height in here. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it gets the job done for a B van. And guys, there is a little fan here in your bathroom too another light and then this is a clothesline that goes across for you know wet towels and gear and a mirror and a little you know hook becky we're about to drive this back to the factory and take a look at some of the uh, other interior colors and exterior colors that you can get on one of these but before we do that it's time to give people three things we love about this trismo and three things we dislike about it becky what do we do first let's do likes first yes okay i'm gonna go first all right number one for me the big bathroom Ooh. again i said it america <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, hey. Fan life. for for a class b for a 19 footer this bathroom's huge and it's actually one of the most important parts about this b van that's number one okay can i make no like number two Number two should be the fact that this is the first B van bathroom that you like. Easy now. Oh, easy come now. on, come on, come on. Becky, we got a show right. to do. What's like number two? Oh my gosh. All right, for me. Yes. Number two. Even though it's a small fridge. Whoa. I know. No. Yeah. Continue. I like the fridge. It's yes. off the floor. It's my height. I need I have my water in. Yeah, and our water's in here. And I'm not bending over to get to the back. This is genius. I. So I would sacrifice a small fridge off the floor. Okay. Okay. So there's my number two. And then Becky, what's number three? Number three, guys, it, it's it's the fit, the finish, the quality, yes. Yes. the luxury feel. Yes. There isn't anything in here that doesn't feel high end to me. This feels like the Rolls Royce of B vans. Why don't they make them that way? Why don't they make it this quality? Why do they do it like that? Mr. Gretsch heard your complaints and he decided to put his money where his mouth was in the make a class B that has cut zero shortcuts. And that's what any of these Gretsch RVs are. The smallest one to their biggest one. You know what I'm saying? So true. And the quality is second to none and I love that. And I want a combo with this big sink. That's three things we like about it, Becky. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this B van. May I go first? Yes. I know you like your refrigerator up here. Yeah. I do not like the concept of having my feet underneath here, personally. 
again, it is what it is. And if you want to have no feet obstruction, then get the 24 footer. But if you want to have that 19 footer, your feet need to store under the refrigerator and um, cooktop here. Sure. That's just like number one. Becky, what's this like number two? Uh, I'm gonna go with this sound bar. What's that? It's just a little bulky. It's it is. big. I feel like number one, they use all the highest technology in here. I mean, this is the the stuff you're seeing in yeah. luxury high end diesel pushers. And I have kind of a big bulky sound bar. I don't know. I, it's on a bracket. You could just not only out. that, not only that. So one, first and foremost, this is such a small RV. You just need a TV speaker. Sure. Two, you actually have the speakers underneath there. Yeah. You know um, what I'm saying? Right. 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 Yeah. So there you go. There okay. you go. Number two. That, that's just like number two. Okay. And then Becky, what's this like number three? I'm gonna go. I got it. You got one. I got it. All right, guys. I'm from Michigan. Yes, ma'am. Guess what Mercedes doesn't have? Do you know? No. You probably don't need it. What is it? A heated steering wheel. Oh, Becky. <laughs> we do not need a heated steering wheel in Florida. Well, I needed it as of just, you know, the day I left. Okay. Literally driving to the airport to come meet you. So, yes. no joke, uh, it kind of is a downfall. Your This is Mercedes. Why... Isn't there, you know, a heated steering wheel? Right, and, especially when, when you're trying to be top of the line. Right. And I'm not going to lie, there's one more thing that I don't like about this. Oh, you're going to combo it? Oh, yeah, can I? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah. We, we, we do combos. Um, These are manual shifters okay. on each side. And I thought that was like the plus minus for the volume or the radio. Oh. <laughs> I am blonde, but you know. But then I went, why is it not changing? And then I once I figured out everything. And yeah. So this is actually manual shifters. I don't know. I mean, I don't. Right. Do, do you need that? Yeah. No. This? I mean, I don't. I like would, manual shifting. It's not, yeah. I mean, it's not a race car. Right. This is, right. I mean, but are you ready to like go find somewhere else to you know take this off road? Yeah, Becky. Something? Let's let's drive up this road. Um, let's take the scenic yeah. route back to the factory. Okay. And then we're gonna go over some exterior options. All right. Wow, Becky. So tell me how this feels when you're driving. So I really, truly, guys, I like that I sit up high. Yes. I have so much space. Everything's hands-free, so I feel very safe, even though, you know, it's a bigger vehicle. But I just feel safe with all these adaptive, you know, features built into safety stuff. It just feels good. It's easy to drive. Yep. It's got a lot of power. Yep. Um, I just kind of went a little off-roading a little little just bit. a little bit a little yeah. bit nothing bad but up and down a big hill no problem yes and here's what i will say there is nothing wrong with driving the 24 footer but driving the 19 i feel 100 percent confident like this is just a big old car is it your big old car? no no it's not my big old car but here's what i'm saying it's a nice unit easy to drive and even though this one doesn't have the air ride suspension it's still one of the best riding class C's in the RV industry today. Well, okay, number one, let's just point out. Do you, do you hear anything? No, it is very quiet. And for it's four by four, that's what the Mercedes is. But it's all the different, you know, quality control that Gretsch goes through, the build process and how they care and they want to make the best van in the business. Perfect, let's go talk to AJ right now. AJ, thank you so much for having us down here at Gretsch in California. Tell us a little bit about the exterior and interior color choices that we can get on a Turismo. Absolutely. Thanks again for being here. So our most popular color choice right now is the beautiful blue-gray in the Turismo model. Okay. And then, again, we have it available in your Tenorite gray. Okay. We have it available in your gray-white exterior and also over here in the Iridium Silver. Iridium silver, very silver. nice. And all of the models for the Turismo are available as well with the dark wood cabinetry. That's our solid birch wood with our European veneers. So we have the dark wood and then also with the light wood. Yes, now interior. the dark wood, Becky, you can only spend a few seconds. That's the color that we just did the full review on. Let's take a look at this light wood. And is, is there a reason why you put the exhaust 
um, in front of the wheel here. Nice, good choice. Nope. Okay. Here's one. Okay. Pretty. Very light and bright, dark, solid surface cabinet. Very complimentary. Light floor. Love it. Okay. And again, guys, Gretsch is that premium brand that's really taking the experience and the quality to the next level. AJ, how do you want people to get a hold of you guys if they're not in the buying stage and they're in the research stage? Just go to GretschRV.com, send us your contact information. One of our Gretsch RV regional sales managers will reach out to you, answer any questions for you as you're doing your research, and we'll assist you in getting to the right dealer, of course. And you also have a Facebook group? We do have a Gretsch RV owners Facebook group, and we welcome all prospective new owners to join that group as well. Yes, and if you guys have any comments, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Gretsch RV, and let us know three things you don't like it. AJ is a huge fan of the show. Him and Mr. Gretsch, they're going to be watching. They're going to be reading the comments. And something that they said to me that was one of the most impactful things that he doesn't even realize of what you said is if somebody needs to make a change at the other manufacturers, it is an act of Congress. Here, if AJ reads enough comments or Mr. Gretsch sees it, he snaps his finger the very next day that change is in production. And that is so powerful to have that ability that no, no other brand can have, especially in a unit that is the Class B unit. If you guys are interested in buying a Gretsch RV or any RV, again, go to generalrv.com slash Becky's Cash. I've linked that link down below. That takes you to a lead form that goes directly to Becky, and she's here to handle all your questions, all your sales needs, and really help you on your journey of being an owner of a beautiful Gretsch yes. or any other RV out there. Becky, what do you want to say to America? Number one, thank you to AJ for having us and hosting us. I mean, this has been epic and what an amazing opportunity to learn about this brand and how it's built. And guys, I have to maybe admit, am I allowed to say it? Talk to me. I think Becky B has a new favorite class B. There you go. Let me tell you, it really is I the mean, upgrade. And once you guys spend the time on the Gretsch website and you watch the Gretsch videos and you really see why a unit is so much more expensive than the competition, you get what you pay for and it's an awesome product made by an awesome company. It is. Thank you guys. Absolutely you. everybody so much for watching and Becky, we'll see you next time.